Zilla, respected pastors, chairmen, and my dear believers. Greetings to all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, let me share with you a few points on humility. The Bible describes humility as meekness, lowliness, and absence of self. The Greek word translated humility in Colossians 3 verses 12 and elsewhere literally means as lowliness of mind. So we see that humility is an art attitude, not merely an outward demeanor. One may put on an outward show of humility, but still have a heart filled with pride and arrogance. Jesus said that those who are poor in spirit would have the kingdom of heaven. Being poor in spirit means that only those who accept an absolute bankruptcy of spiritual worth would inherit the eternal life. Therefore, we see that humility is a prerequisite to all Christians. When we come to Christ as sinners, we must come in humility. Here, we acknowledge that we are paupers and beggars who come with nothing to offer Him but our sins and need for salvation. Then, when He offers us the grace and mercy of God, we accept it in a humble gratitude and commit ourselves to Him and to others. In 1 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, So we die to self that we may live as a new creation in Christ. We never forget that He has exchanged our worthlessness with His infinite worth, our sins with His righteousness, and the life we now live. We live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and died for us. That is true humility. Biblical humility is not only necessary to be entering the kingdom, it is also necessary to be great in the kingdom. Here, Jesus is our model. Just as He came not to be served, but to serve, so must we commit ourselves into serving others, always considering others better than ourselves. The truly humble does not defend himself when falsely accused or unjustly treated. He defends the truth and not his own ego or reputation. Jesus was not ashamed to humble himself as a servant, even to death on the cross. In his humility, he was always obedient to the Father. And so must the humble Christian be willing to put aside all pride and obey the word of God. The truly humble produces godliness, contentment, and security. Jesus, the meek and the lowly one, calls us to learn of Him the true path to God. Let us learn the words we have been learned, studying. My one need is humility. And let us believe that what He shows, He gives. What He is, He imparts. Being the meek and the lowly one, He will come in and dwell in the longing heart. Thank you. May God bless you.